Lauren, you are a hot, hot mess. Hey, Mitchell. Yes? Why are you at work if you're not doing anything? Miss Blackwell. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. You shoot us like two in the morning. Well, if you insist, do have a seat. Thanks, like, oh, I do. Understand. Go on, let him have it. So I can accuse right, you from here. Well, actually, thanks. Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. I'm too. Family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. What you want? Mr. Connection. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written nope. about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's That's a good point. A coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying. So to speak. That doesn't make any sense, man. Let's ask about writing. You're writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Now, if you'll excuse me. So you've been sitting in this room for like 12 hours a day, and you didn't even light dusting your typewriter? What are you doing? You aren't a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. You'd be oh, try me. at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. See? Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I write about people. That seems and honest. Die. Can you understand that? Can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. So let's talk about Countess. You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess, killing people that I write about. That's a tall story, and that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably oh, she's cray -cray. because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably, so you're not I also sure. said I don't know. Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but I prefer if you left well enough alone. Whoa, now, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, why is this that's happening? Why. I think it's a penance of some kind. I've that's shared nonsense. The details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. Can I help? I'm trying to help you. And I never ask for it. People die when I write, so I don't write. The problem's solved. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. He died the same way. Oh, so it's more than the two. Just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row. No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. Um... Do you hero. want to help? There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. That is kind of true. Don't you want to write again? Oh yes. But well, people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try handed fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. That's all I got. If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh. With and what? tell them what? All those yeah, deaths I'll, I'll all either. killed the same way? So soon after you met them? I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'm not. I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. It does look kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? 
Well, that's my options. Let's do that. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean. Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I Shut know up, Joey. What I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh. That is pretty worse, yeah. Is that all? But... Quiet. Is that all? Right. You could become Joey. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father... You getting this stuff down? So... Well, I hope you're crazy happy. pants. I'm never happy. Actually, we're gonna save here real quick. Let us. Uh. Be Joey. And talk to you, homegirl. Uh, We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Okay. Yeah, Joey, if this was a meeting, I know it's gonna be a jerk. Some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I want to know. And if she kills you, that's a good point. Well, then I won't have to worry. And what happens to me, huh? You die. What the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? I don't it's know about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. All right. So, any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see... Oh, that's not going to work. So I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand? You're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. All right. I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. She's oh, here. there she is. So polite of her to knock. It is nice, isn't it? We didn't exactly lock the door. I see the chain is not connected there. Let us say hi. Yeah, come on in. Come in. I'm watching you. So, what's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. Let's. You're that's what Mitchell. With Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yes. Mm hmm. Not good. He speaks to the world. Great name. He spoke Great to name. Me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight, I heard him. He told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. That's my guide. guide. The spirit guide? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. Where is what she? What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's Shut not going to make any sense. Yes, she snapped my mind. She went away, and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything. It oh. hurts. Who? Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? I don't know, sweetie. Where is she? Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice, but he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I 
Yeah. She found a way. Why did she do that? How did Rose would jack you up? Or because you're crazy. Who are you? I am the Countess. Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, sane. Joey. Thanks, Joey. I was happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Will I you're killing them. become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Oh, Let snap. Let me help you. Um, let's... I'd like to help, her help instead. you instead. Help me? I need no help. You yeah. need to be free. No, I don't. Oh! Hey, let her go, you old witch! Damn it! I can't do anything! Fight her! Lauren, fight back! Fight back, damn you! Oh, snap! We're being strangled to death. Joey, do something. Why can't she do anything? Alright, so what we got? We have a letter. We got a cigarette. Oh snap! Right in the eyeball. All right, that's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. No, oh, she's bleeding out of her eye. Ooh. Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I. Wait. I'm supposed to help her. Got a giant bloody hole in it. I'm waiting. I'll save you. No, the connection is gone. I cannot save you, but I can still save her. Hey, I you said, know. Hey, I need help. Help? I move, and then help her. Pain. What are you gonna do about it? I can help you. There we. Okay. There we go. So she's chasing us? Is that she's doing? Yes, alright. Come on then, make Chase us outside. You need me? Are we really gonna do this? Like Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. Why do you move so far? You don't need help. Oh no. Hey. No, what? Come on now. I need help help? Alright, one at a time. I just skipped through these for this time. We've done this before. What are you oh, I thought she was too close last time, so I moved twice. One more. I'm waiting. I'll save you. And one more. Come there we go. What are you waiting for? I I want It's a dark, you. dark game. Why won't you let me help you? Uh, to Joey? I'm sorry. What? I can't What? Do we just shove a woman off our balcony? There's no. In the middle of New York City. She's gone. Gone. I killed her. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if What if that's me one day, huh? What if I'm old and confused and alone? You won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Donna just killed somebody. Something. Is it something? That's crazy talk. We just pushed someone out of a window. A idea. You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi. Jack? Lauren. Sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's me. 
Where have you been? I just wish him out a window. It's not important. Killing people. I miss you. One Tell person anyway. Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. So that's it. Black Hole Unbound. Book two. Book two. Part two of the Blackwell Bundle four-part series. When the stars shine. But that's all of it. That's what we got. So leave you to this happy bell song. I am Miss Lid, and I'll see you next time. Shadow